Photo Montage from FX Factory lets you create gorgeous photo slideshow animations using a simple process. Pick one of the 100 plus built-in presets, select the images you wish to animate, and done. This brand new version of Photo Montage adds AI-driven pan and zoom, wide gamut HDR support, new transitions and image effects, automatically tinted backgrounds and borders, and so much more. This version improves on virtually every aspect of its predecessor and finally lets you mix multiple transition styles in a single sequence. I'm in Premiere Pro, but Photo Montage also works in After Effects, Final Cut Pro, and Motion as well. You can find it in the Effects Browser under Photo Montage 3. It's a generator, so you'll need to apply it to a video clip. I'll right-click in my project window, choose New Item, Transparent Video, drag it to my timeline, and drop Photo Montage on it. I'll click the Browse Presets button to take a look at the Presets Browser window. The presets are broken up into categories, and the thumbnail gives you a hint on what each one does. In addition to the categories that are based on the animation style, there is a preset called Starting Point. The Starting Point template has all animations, pan and zoom, effects, and backgrounds turned off and will be useful when you wish to build and customize an image sequence from scratch. Most presets are based on a single transition style, while others mix multiple transitions within the same sequence. The Pan and Zoom category contains presets to create traditional, full-screen pan and zoom animations. It takes a single step. Select the images you want to animate. You can adjust the contribution of the AI through the Amount slider available under Image Geometry, Pan and Zoom. We'll look at this in more detail later. The Party Mix templates demonstrate various animation and transition styles used in a single sequence. Let's take a look at Party Mix 3. First, I'll select my images. Then I'm given a setup page where I can adjust things like a custom title, custom duration, scale amount, set the image to fit or fill the frame by default, and choose a custom transition out. I'll leave these alone for now and click OK. I'll adjust the length of the generator on my timeline to fit the length of my image sequence. At any time, you can always click the Presets browser to access any of the other presets included with Photo Montage. Quickly jump to a category or search for a specific preset. Notice how the background color in our preview adapts to the overall tint of each image, giving it a more natural look. This is one of the new features available with Photo Montage 3, and it's controlled by a single slider. A similar feature called Adaptive Brightness is available under Border and Vignette to add borders that fit naturally with the content of each photo. I can adjust other properties of the image border under the same section, such as aging, smoothness, or add a vignette effect. Border opacity and blend modes can help you create wild new looks, especially when coupled with the border fade feature, new with Photo Montage 3. Each image is displayed on screen by the number of seconds you specify in the inspector. If you need to customize this value for a specific image, you can do so through the image selection window. The geometry section allows me to select both fixed geometry that is, a set of transformations that are applied equally to all images, as well as randomized geometry. The Animate When and How parameters are key in deciding when and how the animation from fixed to random geometry happens. Because the geometry parameters can be complex to figure out, there are a number of presets to get you started. Under the Geometry group, you can also find and enable the Pan and Zoom feature. AI is used to identify the prominent feature in each image and animating to or from that feature as the animation progresses. The choices made by the Pan and Zoom AI are mixed with randomized geometry to give your sequence a more organic, natural look. Once you're happy with the geometry, you can turn your attention to image effects. 
You can easily apply the same effect to all images in the sequence, or ask Photomontage to pick effects at random. You might apply randomized effects to add energy to an animation sequence made up of images that are otherwise very similar to each other. The next section controls which transitions are used by the sequence. Randomize is currently chosen. The Randomizer section gives me the chance to toggle on or off different transitions included in the random selection. And below this, I can control the look of each of those transitions. If I were to choose a different category of transitions, I'd just get the parameters for that style. Sometimes the random choice doesn't fit with your goals. If you'd like to assign a specific transition to an image, make sure that transition style is enabled in the randomizer. Next, open the image selection window and select the desired transition from the pop-up menu next to the image. The transition selected in the pop-up menu is used to animate from that image to the next. Both image effects and transitions are applied with wide gamut HDR support to preserve image quality and allow glows and overexposure effects to come alive on the latest generation displays. Below the transitions section, you can turn on titles and customize them as you'd like. Did you forget to customize your titles in the selection screen? At any time, you can click Select and get this window back to adjust the titles or any of the other attributes. Finally, there are a variety of backgrounds we can choose from and customize. This tutorial barely scratches the surface of the powerful features offered by Photomontage 3. Full documentation is available right from the inspector. This is a must-have plugin that gives you instant results while retaining the ability to let you customize every fundamental aspect of the animation. Photo Montage 3 is the perfect tool to help you create stunning photo slideshows with minimal effort. Try out a wide range of great audio and visual effects at fxfactory.com.